on Twiddling them thumbs Get ready, just don't go Hey y'all, so I wanted to hit on a topic today and it is why you aren't losing weight. So, these are my top six reasons to why you aren't losing weight. Number one, you're eating too little. So if you eat too little, say you're eating 1200 calories a day, which a lot of um, diet plans in magazines and online sit, like have a low amount of calories. So if you're eating too little, you are putting your body into a starvation mode. And that is going to right away decrease the level of hormones like T3 and T4 and decrease leptin which um, leptin, leptin is the hormone in your brain that tells your brain how much you're eating and regulating your energy balance so you're going to deplete those levels and then your body's going to say oh no oh, we can't lose fat um, it, it goes into kind of if you think about it we as humans were not made to lose weight or starve that's like our body's um, evolution the evolutionary mechanism is um, the starvation mode you know shutting it down and not letting us lose fat because it wants us to survive and specifically in regards to women that's even more big of a deal because we were made to carry babies and um, our bodies are like oh no you know like we can't lose fat because if we lose fat then we won't be able to um, have children and reproduce so a uh, whole other topic on fat loss for females will come but number one you're eating too little you don't have to eat low low calorie you want to be at a slight deficit so if it, it, they say 500 calories per week I don't think a deficit of 500 calories is necessary um, a 100 calorie deficit slow and steady wins the race and um, it's getting louder in here but yeah so don't eat too little uh, you can eat more uh, don't starve yourself and then you'll start to lose fat number two you are not refeeding so in the beginning of your diet you don't need to worry about a refeed um, say it's like three to four weeks I would say don't worry about refeeding but if you aren't losing weight past that you again could be depleting your hormone levels depleting your leptin and um, refeeds structured refeeds there's various different types of refeeds but um, refeeds help to boost the leptin in your body and uh, kind of give your body like a break and say oh hey there's food you know like we can lose fat a lot of, I've seen a lot of coaches do one day refeeds I have implemented them for some clients it works for some people but um, the science from Lyle McDonald shows that two-day refeeds are best and even better are like five-day refeeds so like a diet break which is when you go either back to maintenance or you go a little bit above maintenance so that will help with fat loss if you aren't if you're like plateauing then you want to start incorporating refeeds um, I can probably do a video on specific refeed techniques if you want but typically a refeed you want to increase your carbs lower your protein and your fats so your refeed is going to be around maintenance calories and um, then you're going to double your carbs and that carbohydrates specifically um, act to boost those leptin levels back up now once you diet again the next week then your leptin levels again are going to decrease and then you're going to have to do another refeed so it just depends on where you are in your weight loss journey but that's reason number two you could not be losing weight is you're not refeeding those leptin levels are just way too low number three thermogenic adaptation is occurring which means that your um, maintenance and your BMR is lower because you're losing weight you're losing fat and muscle which use energy so if you don't um, continue to decrease those calories when you're losing weight then you're not going to lose weight because say you're 150 pounds and your maintenance level is 1600 calories well when you lose five pounds your maintenance level can now be 1500 calories and if you didn't decrease even more for your calories now that's really sadly low but hey it's what happens it's normal that's normal metabolism a normal metabolism isn't like mine it's not going to take 
2,000 calories and then not do anything with it. It's a normal metabolism is gonna require going lower. So you're gonna, when you're dieting, you're gonna have to continue dropping your calories or fat loss won't um, continue to occur because of that thermogenic adaptation. Number four is your needs going down. So that's your non-exercise activity thermogenesis. I definitely said that wrong, but it's your NEAT. And um, when your, your NEAT actually takes a good part of your um, overall metabolic rate. So in your metabolic rate, you have your resting, that's your resting metabolic rate, and it is your BMR, your basal metabolic rate. Um, you have your TEF, thermogenic effect of food, thermogenic effect of food, and then you have your NEAT, your non-activity level of thermogenesis. And when you diet and you start to get hungry and your energy decreases, your need decreases. So the amount you um, walk around during the day decreases. Um, and say you're tired from all your um, workouts, then you skip like what your normal walking your dog in your park and you have your husband do it. That's decreasing your need. Um, so in regards to weight loss, you want to make sure you don't do that. Um, get up, go up the stairs, uh, go take your dog on a walk. Go take your cat on a walk. Um, just, oh, get a standing desk or walk on a treadmill when you're um, listening to music. Just keep your knee up. And that's a whole other reason that people don't lose weight because meat um, takes a lot of calories. Like switching from, say you go on like a walk or something, you used to go on a walk every single day, and then you stopped going on that walk. That could easily be an amount of calories that adds up during the week, and that could be why you're not losing weight. Number five is you are stressed. So, stress is so detrimental in regards to both weight loss and gaining muscle. And sadly, I stress. I stress a lot due to anxiety. And that's what a lot, a lot of people deal with anxiety. And I'm not talking like, oh hey, I'm anxious. I'm talking, I deal with chronic anxiety and stress. So I take medication for that. Um, but then I'm still stressed, so that doesn't always work. But um, I'm not saying medication solves everything. Don't quote me on that. I'm just saying I take it, it helps me. I still stress even with it. So number five is you're stressing. So when you're stressing, you deplete leptin. What does it say? Yeah, cortisol stops leptin. Cortisol makes you hungrier, and um, it, which causes stress eating, and it can also um, lower muscle protein synthesis. So your muscles aren't gonna grow, they're not going to recover better in the gym. And when your cortisol spikes too, then you're holding water, you have water retention, and then you just stress even more because you're holding water and you're like, why am I not losing weight? And then just stress just adds, it like builds. I need a water, I'm parched. Water. Anyways, it just keeps on building. And um, so the best thing you can do is try and keep stress levels down. So you could be not losing weight because you're stressing about it. You're stressing that you're not losing weight. So try and find something that helps you um, not stress. If it's watching Netflix, if it's playing with a pet, if it's um, listening to music, if it's going on a walk, if it's journaling, find something that allows you to relax and de-stress. If you need to, go get a massage. I know when I'm about to go to a show, I go get a massage the week before because I know I'll be stressing the heck out. So find something that you can do to de-stress and let yourself continue. Number six could be that you are mismeasuring your food. So I make sure I measure everything, well, there's a hair, um, measure everything in grams. And I know some people go with measuring cups. And the thing is, that's okay for um, if you're just beginning. Ugh, that hurts um, If you're just beginning, but measuring cups can be quite off because they're not, you can, when you get hungry, like, you're gonna pack in as much food as you can in that measuring cup. Like I know some, 
I've seen some competitors say you get, you think you have half a cup of rice. Well, half a cup of rice can easily become like three fourths cup of rice because you dense pack it in. I know I used to do that with my protein powder. I used to like pack that powder in as much as I could. And I went to visit my sponsor PE Science one time. Um, and actually I did that until like two years ago. So a full year of my journey, I did measuring cups. But anyways, she was like, why are you packing it in? You're not supposed to pack it in. And I was like, so don't pack in your protein powder, weigh it by gram or just scoop it out and then level it off. Um, peanut butter is really bad. So people will pack that peanut butter in and then lick the spoon that they dipped it out of. That will add calories. Especially if you're in like a slight deficit, like that little bit of fat, say you do it with oil. You do the oil, you lick the spoon. I don't know why you would lick the spoon with oil, but God, I need water. I did think to um, do this video and get water, and it's a really bad idea because I'm like dying. Um, so, I'm gonna go get water. Then I got cold. And if you notice, like in this video, the sun went down, so the lighting changed, and I apologize for that, but I cannot control the sun. So, yeah, number six was that you are mismeasuring. So those could be six reasons why you aren't losing weight. And I hope that those gave you maybe kind of an idea of um, changes you can make to your diet or your lifestyle that could help you. Um, I hope you guys like this video. I love sharing nutrition, fitness. I love learning. I love knowledge. I listen to podcasts all the time in the gym learning. My favorite right now is Iraqi Nutrition. You can look it up. They are fabulous, great, and just fun. At least to me, it's fun. It's fun to listen to. I'll be starting a podcast soon. I'm super excited. It'll be called Uplift Fit Nutrition. So you can start looking for that. Um, I'll be talking about various nu nutrition concepts. Specifically one that I want to um, hone in on is ketogenic dieting for cancer. So you can um, look for that. And if you have any myths you want busted, you want to talk about anything nutrition, just let me know in the comments below and I will try and get to that. I'm going to try and be pushing more videos out. Um, also, subscribe to my channel if you like it. You can click share, um, that'll be, and the thumbs up sign, that would be great. Um, if we can build this community and get some knowledge about proper nutrition out these days. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Have a good night. Or day.